I just wanted to make a quick video on how I go about tooling basket stamp belts. Uh, I'm just going to be doing it on a little little sample piece like this. So it's obviously not a full belt, but you should be able to get the idea of how I go about doing it. Um, if you want the instructions on how to go about actually putting the belt together, I got another video on that. So you can go check that out. But yeah, let's get started. All right, the first thing that I do, whether it is basket stamp or floor belt, is I set my wing dividers to a quarter inch. And that'll be the border for my tooling window. And then I just run along the outside on both sides. And I make my belts an inch and a half wide. So doing that quarter inch on either side gives you a one inch tooling window. And then for basket stamp belts, you need a line running down the center of the belt. So the way I do that is I just kind of eyeball it. And then you can make a little mark like that on one side and then go to the other side. And if it lines up on both sides, then that's your center. And then once you have your center, you can just run down. And you don't want to make it too, too dark because this is just a guideline. It's not going to be part of the actual design. So now you have your guideline. The next thing you'll do, case it, get it ready to tool. So I'll come back when I'm ready to do that. All right, so I got the, the sample piece casing, which is basically just getting it wet so that it'll tool better. If you're not sure how to do that, I go a little more in depth in it. In my other videos but I just wanted to show the tools that you'll need for basket stamp you really only need three things you'll need a swivel knife and then obviously the basket stamp and then a camouflage um, there's a ton of different basket stamps out there um, different sizes and everything here's some of the ones I got um, normally I use this one for bigger areas just because it's a bigger stamp, but for the belt, I'm going to be using a smaller one just because there's not that big of a window. Uh, these are all craft tools, so you can pick them up at Tandy. And then besides the basket stamp itself, you're going to need camouflage. And again, these, there's a ton of different ones out there. Um, I prefer to have one that is flat on the edge as opposed to this rounded one. And the reason I like that is because you'll use this tool on the border. So if it's flat, it'll be easier to line it up as opposed to having one like this where it's curved. So, yeah, so these three things are all you'll need to get the basket stamp design. So I'll come back when it's ready to tool. So I got this piece ready to tool. Uh, the lines, once you get it wet, they kind of go away a little bit, so they're a little harder to see. Um, the camera's not picking them up very well, but the first thing you're gonna do is take your swivel knife and you're just gonna cut the border. And you're gonna you're not gonna do this middle this middle line. That's only for, for guiding you when you're tooling. You don't you don't cut that out at all. So I'm gonna go through and get this cut. And for these big, long, straight lines when you're cutting them out, it helps to, instead of holding your knife angled like you normally would, kind of hold it a little lower. And then you want to bring your, bring your head down so that you're pretty flat with it. And then because your knife will be closer, you can look at the front edge of the knife to kind of make sure that you're still going straight. That's just... Kind of what I do. I don't know if there's a better way, but that's how I get my straight lines. All 
All right. So I got that border cut out. So now we go right to the basket stamp. And when I do basket stamps, I like to use a heavier maul than normal. This is a two pound maul, as opposed to, this is what I do, use with floral designs, a little lighter, but you gotta hit basket stamps pretty hard. So I use, I just use the two pound help with that. And so the two main ways of doing basket stamp would be doing, having the, the basket stamp go with the belt. But the way that I do it, it makes it look kind of diagonal with it. So the way that you're gonna do that is line up this one corner on the first line. And then there's this first indent there. You're gonna put, you so you put this corner on the line and then you line up the other side of the line on this indent. And that and then that will line up so you can do it again. You can put this corner where this indent was. I don't know if that makes sense, but so you line that up on the first corner. And then you're looking for that first indent on the basket stamp, and you line up the the line on that. And then you just go through and give it a good hit. So there's the first impression. So now that'll make it. So like we lined up the, the corner on this first line and then that indent on that line. So now the next time that we go to hit it, we can again put that corner on that line and then that indent on that line right there. See that first indent going on that line? So then you can just go down the whole length of that of that uh, guideline, just line it up. And then I like to do a couple taps just to get it kind of set in there. And then you can do some harder ones to get the depth. So I'll go through and do that. And then if I think of anything, I'll let you know. And then I get to this last one because I'm getting close to the border. I'm going to angle it kind of on the back side so that I'm not stamping over the line right here. So it kind of went over the line a little bit, but you won't notice that once it's done. So now that you got the first line or like the, the border line stamped out, you're going to go through and just kind of branch off of it on, on both sides. And the way that you do that is starting at this first one, you line it up like that. And then again, you're gonna to wanna, to, anytime you get close to a border, you're gonna to wanna to angle it so that you don't, you don't go over. And then so I lined up on that corner and then that'll create these two slots. Let me get focused. That'll create two slots right here that this will fit into. 
and then once you stamp this one there will be another two right here and it'll just kind of create spots for it to go into so I'll do that again So we made these two spots, put the stamp in there, and then after stamping that, it made it another two spots. So then you're just gonna go down one by one, getting those. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, but we're going to start on the opposite end this side to be able to get that. And if you don't, if you don't have room to do a full stamp here, what you can do is you can put the basket stamp in there and then just kind of roll it over and make a little indent to show where that will go so that you have a spot to put your basket stamp. And the way, the reason that you wanna go from this way going over is because then you have that, those two indents to put your basket stamp into. Cause if you go from this end, then you don't really, you can't really get that. Cause this one would go here and you don't, you don't really get those two indents that'll guide you well. You could do it that way, but it's just a higher chance that it'll come out being all crooked. So do the same thing as we did on the other side. Just go down, go along and line them up. And because this side is closer to the border, I'm gonna be angling it. Every time I hit it, I'll be angling it towards this back corner so that I don't run over the border too bad. If you do a little bit, that's okay. You just don't want to do like half the stamp over or anything. So that's all you should have to do with the basket stamp. Um, if you wanted to, you could come in and try to get closer to the border on this side. Um, it just depends how close you want to try and be getting to your border. Because the only problem with that is you're so close that you're going to start going over the edge there. So we're done with the basket stamp. Now from here, you don't have to but I like to go through and just bevel the edge here before I go through and do the camouflage. I think it just gives it a nicer look. And now that we're done with the basket stamp, we're doing lighter stuff. So I'll go back to my, my lighter Berry King mall and I'll just go through and bevel the edges.
I got that beveled out. I'll run the bevel over it, just get them a little smoother lines. All right. So now this is where the camouflage comes into play. Um, you'll just take it, take that, that straight edge I was talking about, and you'll just line it up right on the edge of there and just do an indent. And then the next one, you want it really close, but you don't want them overlapping. You get them as close as you can without overlapping them. And then you just go along the length of the belt, doing that. And then once you get close to a corner here, like there, one of these corners, or this would be considered a corner, you wanna stop a little sooner, and then you start from this corner, and then you work back to where you were. And the, the reason for that is so that the corners are nice and smooth, because when people look at it, the corners are going to be the things that they see mainly. And so now you, and then if there's any like imperfections, like in the middle of a line, people aren't really going to notice that as much as if it's in a corner. So, and then if you noticed, I, though that's the only place you're going to want to overlap is that you can get it as close as you can. But then from there, you're able to put this next to it. Again, you don't want them overlapping at all. And then you'll start off your next line like that. And then you'll do the same thing, run back down all the length of the belt. And again, coming up on a corner, so we're gonna stop a little bit early and then put one in the corner and then work, work your way back to where it was. And then once you're starting to get close to it, that's when you can start adjusting how close together they are so that they can line up as, as good as you can get them. And then because this is such a short little area, I'll do one there, one here, and then I'll just do one in between the two, even though they it overlaps. And then there, it's all tooled out. So then as far as dyeing goes, um, you don't dye anything in here. You could if you want, but for the two-tone look, you would just do the borders just along here. And then, yeah, same as if you were doing a floral belt or anything, you just replace the floral step with this step, and then construction stays the same, obviously. So, but yeah, that's all there is to tool in it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that helped cleared up anything if you had any questions but uh if you still have questions feel free to comment let me know and if you have any video suggestions again let me know in the comments and i should be able to get to them basket stamp belts they're just they just look good i don't know uh, they're great projects for beginners because they're they're pretty simple to get lined up and have them look good so yeah have fun let me know how they turn out